And we're back, you guys. So let us continue. Alright. So I'm going to show you guys how to get to the other world. Through here. Gate of the castle. As you can see, you are transported right in front of the pyramid. We're going to go now to the second temple. There are certain items that you get in one of the temples. I can't remember which one. Um, for example, the, ab the ability to pick up the um, the dark rocks. You know, once we get those abilities, um, I should be able to explore a little bit further the world. But I can't do much with the stuff that I have right now. I mean, with the hammer I can explore some things, but you know, once I stumble across them, then I'll go on ahead and explore. Talk to this guy. So he's one of those guys that want to give me some rupees for no reason. I've maxed out already. Let's see what's in here. Oh, more money. I think I'm gonna leave those chests closed so that you know they're probably just money in them. little short on cash, I'll come back and I'll open the rest. If there's like a heart in there or something, you guys can tell me in the comments and I can come back and get it. So we're gonna go tr to the other world. I think there's like a tip inside that you need to do this. So you guys remember came here once, but I said that there was something that you do here that was for later on. There's also this, that the right is always the right one. <laughs> That's why I always remember which one it is. So now that the water has been taken care of, go to the other world, and as you can see, it's affected. It's pretty much the same. Uh, if you climbed here, this thing I think is the one that gives you the tip from Sarahalalalala. Yeah. This is where basically you get that hint that whatever you do in the other world sometimes affects this world. So. Well, I think this is the only example I can remember that you can do this. Because I don't remember another puzzle that involves the other world. Oh, uh, this doesn't hurt them. Because I'm going to have to swing my sword. Another problem that I'm going to be having from now on is that this world, um, its creatures, the monsters, they hit harder than the ones in the light world. Um, later on, I'm going to have better equipment, better armor, and I'll be able to withstand more damage. Uh, but right now, I'm j I just have this green tunic, and I'm probably going to be having a lot of trouble staying alive. <laughs> I always have this problem when I play this game. I haven't died yet, but, you know, I don't have enough hearts, I don't have enough defense. And the temples now are going to get a little harder than before. Ugh. I'm kind of playing a little fast, so, yeah. That's going to take forever to kill it with that. <laughs> so you can see he jumps and throws the bone. That's the only annoying part of him. I wonder if I can push one of these blocks. Uh, what about to the left? No, okay. Just checking. That thing in the middle throws fire when you swing your sword. That's the trick behind it. Although, oh, I guess it threw the fire because I dashed. It also happens if you dash. Oop. I haven't played 
played this game in so long that I know that there are some interesting puzzles in the further temples. I hope I can remember all of them, because it's been many, many years. Sometimes it's, it sort of comes back to me, but sometimes I get a little confused. There are these water monsters that they kind of pop out and they hide again in the water. Let me go the opposite, you know, down first, then on the left. It's usually never in the right order. Man, these guys don't give hearts. I think in more modern Zelda games, you get more hearts for enemies. Wait a second, did I miss something back here? Sometimes these, you can pull these in some temples, or I think that's just one, I'm not sure. Kind of pull its tongue, it's weird. Uh, I'm a ninja. I gotta use these uh, skulls so that I don't have to swing my sword. because um, that new game came out, the, the new 3DS Zelda game that is a sequel, direct sequel to this one. So I think that um, at least I'll have my memory refreshed, and you guys, of course, the ones who are watching. Once you get the game, you'll see that the story just pretty much takes off after this game, like a few years, I think. In the world, it's a little similar, actually. Oh, I forgot that. I could have just gone through here. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. So, yeah, it's kind of cool, you know, that it came out just, just about the right time. I mean, I wasn't planning on playing this game because of the game that was going to come out. I was just thinking that it was kind of ironic that I wanted to get this Zelda out of the way. Because I have played the other Zelda games, at least the console versions, and uh, I thought that it would be nice to sort of conclude, not conclude indefinitely, but you know, for now, my console Zelda runs with this one. Although, I, I'm not going to be um, LPing the very older ones, the ones from Nintendo. Because I'm not really good at those games, I've never beat them in the past. You know, I started in Super Nintendo. I guess I would leave those for the most old school... Um, oh, darn it, I have to lower this thing. To the old, more old school kind of gamers, but you know. I mean, I have those games in my GameCube, but I don't know, I just, I've just i never really connected with those other two games, the first and second Zelda game. But I will, however, eventually get a Wii U. And I will definitely be playing Skyward Sword. And then, whatever Zelda game that comes out for the Wii U. I'm a 
little worried about the news that have been darn it, I just keep killing myself here. The news that keep coming out from Nintendo that they have like financial problems and stuff. And I really hope that doesn't um, affect the next Zelda game, for example. Actually, let me check this side before I go there. That's uh, just 20 rupees that I could not enjoy. <laughs> so yeah. Although I'm kind of surprised that Skyward Sword did not get as much feedback as I th as I hoped for. I mean, I'm not sure if it didn't come out as awesome as it, as a lot of people expected it to be. I'm not sure, but I guess I'll have my own opinions when I play the game. Cause I, I'm not watching like any Let's Play or anything. I'm just gonna wait till till I buy it and uh, experience it myself. <clears throat> you know, I like to have my own my own experiences. Should be able to beat it once, and then do an LP about it. I don't want to do a blind run on, on a Zelda game, though. I mean, this one is not even a blind run, it's like a semi play run. So I haven't played it in years, but I have played it several times before. So here's the hook shot. And it, it begins with a boing. <laughs> Works just about the same as the Ocarina of Time hookshot. You can move from place to place. It sticks to very specific things. Like skulls, for example. Man, the whole place is like running with a lot of enemies. Uh. Alright, let's push this. Just want to make sure they don't electrocute the link. <laughs> It doesn't make the boomerang obsolete. I mean, it works just like the boomerang, but it kills even more than the boomerang. Darn it, I'm trying to figure out if there's something in this room. And it was a total waste of time and life. <laughs> Microphone due to a truck passing by. It was really loud. So there was nothing on this side. Oh, come on, man. What? I'm stuck here. That's weird. So where am I supposed to go? Wait a second. This switch doesn't open, just one door opens both of them. Nice. I get a heart like once in a while. Oh, that was sneaky. Almost got stuck here for a moment. Out of the way. Now we can push the switch. Heart. Out of the way! Yeah, Link doesn't know how to dive in this game. He needs to... he needs the... Um... 
that item from Ocarina of Time to help you dive. Dive deeper. <laughs> <sighs> We're doing progress. Ah, come on, man. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh. Nice. I guess there's nothing else. Whoa, no. I know that there is a secret entrance behind a waterfall. That's one of the stuff you sort of get stuck the first time. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be dying now. There we go. Oh, really? I just want hearts. <laughs> nope. Let's see what's here. Key. Oh, this is, I remember this place. There's no way of killing that thing without getting hurt. Just there to annoy you, pretty much. Come on, give me hearts. Wow, it's like bombs, arrows, arrows, bombs, heart. <laughs> uh... All right, we did it. Made it to the boss. I'm glad I got this covered. So this one is like the Water Temple's mini-boss from Majora's Mask. You use your hook shot to pull one of it? its little eyes. Oh, this one uses the eyes as like a... Like a weapon like that. And this looks like a, a bunch of clouds or something. Bunch of smoke, little smoke bubbles. Sponges or something. Uh, yeah, he's gonna definitely gonna be killing me now. Oh, darn it! I was gonna say just now, oh, maybe I'll survive like in the last one. Nope! <laughs> Alright, just one. Oh, he, he was so close for me to defeat him. Because now he's just really easy. He just comes down, you gotta move so that he doesn't fall on you. And, uh, you just swing your sword at him and... Really easy. If you're near him, it'll be easier to hit him, because... He's doing that. It's a little hard to hit him. Oh, he hit me instead. <laughs> Guess the spin attack comes in handy here. There we go. Yay! Oh, let me catch this. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I failed. I failed to catch this freaking stone. Yeah, I usually like to catch them. I mean, they might break. Nah, just kidding. The clutches of evil, evil monsters. They don't really talk about the Triforce and uh, the legend of the the ones who touch it and. Make a wish or something. Uh, 
I have magical powers. Yeah, there are warp points hidden all over the world, so... You know, it's not gonna be just the castle gate. There's gonna be somewhere else. King of Darkness! Bing! Alright, so I'll stop here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.